The hatching results have been impressive. We've seen results as high as 98%. We're achieving that quite a lot. Attached care gives us a chick which is about 15% heavier in weight. The early mortality isn't there, so at seven days we're well below a percent, even on a young flock of 27 weeks. Um, coming up to 47, 48 days when we're culling out the cockerels, the rejects are a half, so we're well below a percent on these big birds. The product is desirable by our customers and that it sells itself. Money-wise, probably three or four p in Morrow Chick. The first hatch care chicks we placed on our farm were 55 grams on average at placement, which is probably 15 grams heavier than we'd normally see in a regular hatchery. Our chicks reaching market weight two days sooner than other sources, that is really fast. That's an indication of true health. Typically we're seeing 165 to 175 grams at seven days. By and large, these hatch care chicks are ranging from you know, 220 grams all the way up to 240 grams at seven days, which is just unreal. The results are better than I expected. We see some chick starts less than 1% seven day mortality. We see 98% of the viable embryos hatch. That's good. Um, we have to readjust our projections on hatchability and, and so we have the proper placement at the farms. I never imagined we'd be at 89-90% average life of flock on hatch, pushing out a 57 gram chick, that's an average. It's pretty phenomenal. I mean, most people don't believe it. I mean, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't deal with it every day. If you want the best results, don't ask for average equipment. I mean, ask for the best. Before, if I saw a mortality flock that showed under 2%, I would check to see if the data was correct. Now, if I see under 2%, I say, yes, that's our new normal. What we've seen is an increase in bird weight by 11%, but we've decreased our feed conversion by 4%. We're looking at an improvement overall of uh, 4 to 5 cents per kilogram of chick. Very happy, that's a huge improvement on the bottom line.